Hello guys and welcome to this quick tutorial for the Platformer 2D tutorial series. In this tutorial we are going to fix some things and look at some new features that has uh, come in Unity. So yeah, let's get started. So let's just open up Unity. So why is there black bars around my Unity? Okay, now it is fixed. Good, so the first thing we are going to fix is basically the inconsistency of the knockback. So, let me just demonstrate. So the problem is, is that sometimes it jumps higher and sometimes it jumps like... It's just really inconsistent and I found a fix, it is pretty simple. So the thing you have to do is of course open up the script where we do the knockback on the player. So let's look at here what we have to do in the IE numerator knockback. So it is pretty simple. We just have to uh, reset the velocity of the y axis. So let's do that. And that is pretty simple. So uh, we're just basically going to say rb2d.velocity is equal to a new vector2 because velocity is a vector2, x and y. So, uh, the thing we're going to say, we won't change the actual x velocity, so we are just going to say transform dot, uh, oh, well not the transform, we need to say rb2d dot velocity dot x. And then, we are basically going to set the y velocity to zero. And that will basically fix the inconsistency of our knockback. So let's try again, and no matter how how fast oh no matter how fast we are jumping, uh, how of how high of a height we're jumping from the the uh, knockback won't change. So that was it for the knockback. Now let's see at some other things. So in the new version, uh, which is uh. When you look at the about Unity, it is uh, five on one. Uh, there come there. What, what do you say? There was a new change to the Richie Body 2D, and that was basically that the S fixed angle uh, tick box on the Richie Body 2D component wasn't there. It isn't removed. It is just moved down to the constraints right here, and it is called freeze rotation instead. Which basically is the same as fixing angle. So that just fixed that. So if you couldn't find the uh, fixed angle, then you know now. And then for the last thing, we are going to look at a new thing that I found out because one of you said in the comment section uh, mentioned it, and that is actually pretty cool. So let me see. Oh, just going to show you. So. It is basically uh, like we don't have to do that uh, zero friction and fake friction anymore because uh, uh, there's come a fix from Unity, from the real creators of Unity. And that is basically, uh, uh, let's see, uh, the platform effect uh, that I also showed in the uh, where you jump from, from under platform and up on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, we don't uh, have to do the fake friction and we're going to remove that because there's a fix now. And that fix is that we won't get stuck on the sides of objects. So uh, add the platform effect to the component by clicking add component and search for it. And then make sure to uh, go on the collider on the turret because uh, that's where the collider is. And then you have to be, uh, you, you have to tick the use by effect uh, button right here so it knows that you ha that you're using an effector so and uh, now we are basically going to tick or untick the used friction uh, used side friction because uh, uh, that will basically do so we will uh, slide down from the side instead of getting stuck when we are holding down the uh, right key so yeah that is uh, Pretty cool. So, oh, yeah. Also, untick the use one way because uh, that is from the uh, other tutorial. So, uh, let's click play. 
And uh, I have some coins here actually, that is for a not tutorial that I'm going to do in a moment. And also a doll right here, I'm just going to show you in a moment. So, you can see that we won't get stuck on the uh, turret anymore. And we can also do it for uh, the ground, so uh, let's just do that. So let's find the ground, hmm, okay, there's a lot of colliders, that is pretty annoying, but uh, hmm, let's just expand all the ground objects and let's do it a, in a fast way, so uh, uh, let's see if we can do it. So just pick, uh, hold control and uh, pick all the uh, colliders from the grounds, and then we're just going to put this uh, this, uh, what is it called? Uh, platform effect on it. Oops. Good. So let's click add component, platform effector, and click use by effector, and disable use one way. And there we go. Now that is fixed. Uh, we don't have to use this uh, material anymore. So that is great. And we're also going to remove the fake friction. So that is actually really awesome. Thank you, Unity. And let's see if it fixed it. Oh my god, it's laggy because of the damn recording program, you know? And nice, it won't get stuck, so that is perfect. Um, so let's go in on our player and let's just remove the fake friction because we don't need it. So, so yeah, that was basically it. And now I'm just going to uh, record some other episodes for some uh, point system and coins and a door to another world. So, see you later, friends. And, uh, thank you for watching.